Here's a sequence between the Montreal Canadiens and the Philadelphia Flyers where Alex Belzeal drills Scott Lawton from behind. There's no doubt about it, that's from behind. It's not called. And Wade Allison comes in, stands up for his teammate. He's tagged with the instigator penalty. Now, there's no question that he deserves the instigator penalty. That's not what we should be mad about. This is exactly why the instigator penalty exists. But he gets 17 minutes in penalties, and of course, the Canadians get a power play, and don't they take advantage and go up 3-0. That's a pretty big goal in a, in a game in this moment, middle of the second, not even quite halfway done, and instead of 2 nothing and fighting to try and get 2-1, now you're all of a sudden down 3 nothing because your player sacrificed himself, but it's because this didn't get called. Now, we as fans should be happy the instigator penalty was called here, not upset, because that's what it's for. Especially if the official didn't think there was a penalty on the original play, then it's to protect players from being jumped unjustly. And fighting shouldn't be for players to avenge calls that weren't penalties. So it shouldn't matter whether this was a missed penalty or not. He's fighting just because his teammate got hit and he didn't like it. Players say that all the time. They don't care whether it's clean or dirty. So good, I guess, on Allison for thinking it was worthwhile to fight in this moment. But this is the consequence of dropping the mitts after a play that is not a penalty. The instigator penalty does not get washed out by the original call. So you actually, instead of just serving your extra 10-minute misconduct and hurting yourself, now you're hurting your team by taking an extra two-minute minor. And this is the result. But this should have been called.